Excuse me, I had to make sure I wasn't thirsty before I made a video. Five burning questions to all of my redneck southern country friends. Five. Number one, how high is too high for your heightened truck? As a black man, I dreamed about getting me a car and putting it on some 32 inch rims for absolutely no reason. Don't judge me, I won't judge you. But to all of my redneck country friends, I wanna know how high is too high for your truck? Like is regular truck too short, too small? Is that like a Nissan Corolla? Do y'all want a truck so high that Shaq would have to have a ladder to step into it? When you have a truck that high, how do you get your girl into it? Is the reason you want your truck so high is that you have to help Get your girl into the truck. How high is too high? What's the height requirements that I must have to know I got a real pickup truck and I just ain't got a damn truck? Number two, how many guns are too many guns? A little while back, I made a video about five things to know before going to the gun range with your wet redneck friends. And y'all should go look at that video if you need to know what I'm talking about. I want to know how many pieces of equipment there's too many pieces of equipment like how many guns do we need in case this thing go to hell in case the zombies attack in case apocalypse comes right now like do i need 12 do i need seven does it have to be an even or an odd number if i have an ak or an ar does that count as two or one is a hand appropriate does a shotgun protect my house and home or do i need a double barrel rotating automatic shotgun to protect my house and my home what is the number i need to say yes josh you have enough ammo number three are y'all aware that y'all mamas be fine in 2007 i had a neighbor who's a couple years younger than me i ran into him at the gym the other day he's a huge georgia bulldog fan he might see this video and be like i'm gonna get you josh but um his mom was fine from the time i met her and i bet she probably in her early mid 50s right now and i bet she fine as hell do y'all realize that y'all mama fine do y'all realize that your daddy was a dog because he seen his mama your mama and he said i gotta have that and do you realize that he took your mama back to a room and made you do you realize that uh, there's a red neck mama they never not fine they always wear some jeans and some some shorts and they always can let their belly show and they always got their shoulders out and they always they fine are y'all completely aware or do y'all just do the cute thing like nah that's my meemaw nah yo meemaw can get seesaw number four is probably the most important question in this video to be honest are all rednecks created equal Starting to figure out, you got Florida rednecks, you got Georgia rednecks, you got Mississippi rednecks, you got Texas rednecks, and then you got rednecks in Canada. Canada, but I said Canada to be fun anyways, you don't get the joke, are all redneck created equal? And what's the separation between redneck, hillbilly, and mountain man? On the hierarchy, who's at the top? If this is a pyramid, who's here, who's here, and who's there? I need to know, do I do I gotta feel the Canadians more than the hillbillies? Do I gotta go high with the hillbillies over the Florida rednecks? Are the Florida rednecks that live by ocean, sea, water, inland gonna protect me over the hillbillies? Is the hillbillies, can they compete with the Canada rednecks? Canada rednecks can endure harsh winters and they have real big beer so i need to know what is the hierarchy are y'all all created equal or is somebody sitting at the top let's answer this question and number five is the term redneck derogatory to y'all do y'all not want me to say it do you get offended when i say redneck because i feel like it's a term of endearment shout out to my redneck brothers and my sisters and i need to know all these questions as i build my catalog of more videos i want to be clear and precise about how i announce my country bumpkin cousins and 